The WIG craft, known as a flying ship, uses buoyancy to float above water. With the Korean WIG craft recently being exported to the United States, the technology involved is recognized as the very best in the world. Soon the craft will become the first of its kind to be commercialized in Korea, no less. Let's take a look at the technology that buoy the craft to new heights. The WIG craft was first created in the Soviet Union in the 1960s, producing prototypes since the early 2000s. One of the reasons for Korea moving ahead of the pack in the development of the WIG craft has to do with the country's sheer excellence in the shipmaking sector. According to the International Maritime Organization and the International Civil Aviation Organization, WIG crafts are currently classified as a vessel, and in three types, A, B, and C, with each one distinctive from another. Here they have completed the construction of three five-seater WIG crafts with a total of 124,000 kilometers of testing mileage spanning 12,000 hours. Iron 7 is capable of taking off and landing on waters, even volatile conditions, a Type B WIG craft. Uh, in comparing the WIG craft and the seaplane, WIG craft flies ahead using half the fuel and emitting less CO2, using about one third of the energy vessel's use. 250 horsepower, the craft is capable of reaching 200 kilometers per hour in speed. The craft can produce upwards of 200 kilometers per hour, but with the effect, it uses much less fuel than regular aircrafts. Coupled with the fact that it's much faster in speed than vessels and devoid of turbulence that causes seasickness, it is regarded as a transportation device of the future, a future the scientists envisioned when developing the craft. Nowadays, a new standard for WIG crowd pilots is being drafted, one that requires a pilot license as well as a master's license on the water. The main advantage of WIG crafts is that the pilot can quickly adjust to physical obstacles. Also, landing on the water with high waves akin to planes landing on the wavy strip featuring two-meter crests. Therefore, securing the ability for safe landing despite volatile weather becomes a necessity, and this WIG craft did just that. Its excellent ability to safely land on water is something that only Korea can claim ownership to. The Ministry of Land, Transport and Maritime Affairs is currently drafting policies, laws and standards required for the commercialization of the WIG crafts, including safety standards, the pilot license and etc. Once these measures are taken, Korea will set the global standards and regulations for WIG crafts. The Korean WIG craft built by the CNS AMT is now reaching the global market. 